Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. You're watching V8 Tech, and in this tutorial, we're gonna continue our previous project and we're gonna add some more functionalities to our project. So, without any further delay, let's get started. So, let's declare a character type variable ch and some strings for our password and username pass for 20 characters for our password and one for our saved password one for the username and one for our saved username now ask the user to input username now take the username as an input now we're going to declare file type pointer to open our file so let's open our file with a function fopen. Now we're gonna read our saved password and saved username. Now we will compare the username which the user has just entered with our saved username. So to use string function we have to include a header file called string.h So if our username which the user has entered and our saved password is not equal then the string function will return either 1 or minus 1 So in this case we are gonna print So at this point the user should go back and re-enter his username So for that we are gonna use go to statement And if both the strings are same, then we're gonna ask the user to enter his password. So this is our code from the last video, but we have to do some modifications. Uh, like in this code, if we enter any wrong password, then we can't erase the letter which we have input. So to solve this problem, what we're gonna do? We're gonna start a if else statement in if part. If user enters backspace. Okay, so now I'm going to explain this code. Suppose i equals to 3. That means we entered 4 characters. So due to the first backspace, the cursor will move backward by one integer and it will replace the character r by space. Because here we print space and because of the second slash b, our cursor will move from here to here again so that we can enter our new character. We are going to start a if else statement again in if part if the user enters tab or space then we will skip that position. So now what we are going to do we are going to compare the password with the user has entered and our saved password. See if our password matches our saved password we are going to print login successful if it is not then we are gonna print incorrect password and at this point what we are gonna do we are gonna use a go to statement to return where we ask the user to enter your password again Okay, so now let's run our code. Now we're gonna test this code. So that's all for today guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next video.